I do need to talk, but not to you. I need to talk to the police star. Well, today must be your lucky day. John, what are you doing here? Well, I had come to see Rex, but if you know something about your father's murder, I suggest you tell me now. Hospitals give me the creeps. What do you say we do this down at the station? Oh, wait a minute, James. I think you should have a lawyer with you. Star, we're two guys talking, that's all. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Don't worry. Nothing's gonna happen. Okay, I'll meet you at the police station. Okay, I'll see you later. Wait. Please let me get someone to help you. Okay, anything could happen. Okay. Thanks. You ready? Yeah. Talk in here. Are you questioning James Ford? Oh, Taya, thank you so much for getting here so fast. Of course. I trust you told my client that he doesn't have to tell you anything. Well, he's a big boy. Shouldn't that be up to him? She's right. You don't have to say anything to me. But if you do know something about your father's death, you'll be questioned eventually. So you can tell me now or you can tell me later. It makes no difference to me. James, I would advise you not to no, say it's, anything. It's okay. Okay, I, I, I want to talk. All right. Star, would you like to wait out here? Actually, I prefer if she came in, if that's okay. Yeah, I don't see why that should be a problem. Sure, why not? Come on in. Great. Can I, uh, get you all something? Maybe a soda, a cup of coffee? James, would you like something? I'm good, thanks. All right. What do you know about your father's death? Let's talk about the gun. Okay, well, uh... I found the gun in my dad's duffel bag at the gym, and then after, later, after the fight with Bobby, and after I knew my dad wasn't going anywhere, I went to Minuteman Motel to kill him. What? No, you okay. didn't. James, stop. No, you didn't. Okay. No, Taya, he didn't. He was just upset uh, at, the, at the fact that his dad was talking so mean to me and Langston and Danny. Uh, hey, hey, Star, whose interview is this? Let the kid talk, all right? So, did you kill him? Okay, this is what happened. I found my dad in his room. Why'd you get in here? And what the hell are you doing with my gun? What does it look like? So you aim the gun at your dad? James, you can stop this at any moment. Just say the word, okay? Yes, I... I pointed the gun right at him. What are you gonna do, buddy boy? Shoot me. Why shouldn't I? You deserve it after the way you treated me all these years. You're my dad. You're supposed to love me. But you beat me and you made me feel worthless. What? And this is supposed to make that all better. Hell yes. If I kill you right now, I'd be doing the whole world a favor. You can't stay in this town and torture me and Bobby and Nate and Mom. I can't believe it. You are still defending that bitch. Because of you, I never got to have a mother. She ran out on you. No. You threw her out. She wasn't strong enough to stand up to you. No. I'm standing up to you. You know what? Just do it, okay? Shoot me right there. Then I'm going to treat her. James, I think we should stop now, okay? So then you killed him? No. I got... No, I couldn't do it. Why not? What's the matter with you, freak show? You're not worth it. You're not worth it one bit. I've let you ruin enough of my life, and I won't let you ruin it anymore. I have things to live for now, and I'm not going to sacrifice my life for you. And then you left. Not yet. Get out of town before I change my mind. Or someone else comes up here with the same idea. But goes through with it. Then what? Then I left. And that's the last time that I saw him. Okay, John, that's it. You got your statement. Let's go. Okay. Not so fast. Where's the gun? I don't know. I, I I tossed it. Tossed it where? In the room before I ran out. Uh, I I just tossed it on the floor, and and I left. 
Look, I know that it sounds crazy giving the gun back to my psycho dad, but I just, I wanted to get rid of it and get out of there, and I wasn't thinking beyond that, so... No gun was found in the motel room, so what the hell happened to it? I thought the murder... But Clarence already told you he left the gun at the scene. That's all he knows. Really? I, I don't know what happened to it after I took off. Hey, come on, isn't it obvious? You left it there, someone else came in, picked it up, and that's who shot your dad. I ran into Eddie for... See you at the motel? No. You sure about that? Yeah, I'm positive. I made, I made sure no one saw me. All right. Get out of here. If have any more questions, I'll call you. Counselor, mm. just one question. How many clients do you have in this case anyway? One? Todd's not a client. Should he be? Not yet. so much for coming. I... Anything for you, sweetheart. I really appreciate it, too. Listen, if they contact you, call me immediately, okay? Okay, sure. And by the way, I think, uh, I think it went... It went well. I hope it did. Star. Listen, I'm... I'm so sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I cannot believe that I dragged you into another crisis. Star, but I really did try to protect you. James, when you stopped in the middle of telling that story, it scared me so much. I thought that you were going to tell John that you did shoot him, and I can't... I couldn't lose you like I've lost Cole. That's why I couldn't do it. Star, that's... That's what stopped me. I thought about you. What do you mean? You, you didn't kill your father for me? Star, you lost Cole because he pulled the trigger in a horrible moment. He had a monster in his face, and, and he just lost it. But I get that, because I, I wanted to pull that trigger so, so bad. But then I thought about Cole, and I could never do that to you, Star. Okay, not, it's not that you care about me the same way you do Cole, but I just couldn't put you through that. Not again. And also, you know, it's kind of selfish, but I thought about everything that Cole lost because he did pull that trigger, and I couldn't stand the thought of the same thing happening to me.